What's up, YouTube? Today, we're gonna to talk about the single most important piece on getting that first creative internship or job. Today, we're gonna to talk about the portfolio. The following video is purely my opinion. Take the following recommendations at your own risk. Yeah, so that was weird. Anyways, let's jump in to what it takes to create a successful advertising portfolio. All right, tip number one, which isn't really a tip, but just start, create stuff. If you have the means or can manage it, I highly suggest going to a portfolio school or entering a portfolio program. This gives you the opportunity to really sharpen your design skills, learn to think creatively, and get critical feedback from your professor. So even if you're not in one of these programs, you can still create spec work or fake work. Pick any client you want with any budget, which is the only time in your career you would ever be able to do this. Take advantage. And lastly, start executing pro bono work. Don't get all fancy thinking you can't possibly work for free. Get your hands dirty with some real work and work with real clients. My first client was Naughty Leprechaun Hangover Taco Delivery. Mouthful. These were my clients. And it was vastly important to me learning how to take feedback and make changes and critiques until it's exactly what the client's looking for. So tip number two, show range in your work. Spread out your work with numerous big ideas. Create campaigns that push boundaries and connect with your target in a unique way that no one's thought of before. Design skills are great, but it's more important that you get across the way you think. And when you come up with that big idea, the second thing you should do in your book is to create 360 degree campaigns. Don't just settle for creating your whole campaign as print ads. Explore other mediums. The more mediums you execute in, the broader you'll start thinking about your client's problems. Lastly is creating work for a range of clients. Try to work on campaigns for different industries and different categories. Show a broad range. Do a food service brand like Pringles. Do a small durable brand like Blue Microphones. Or a disposable product like Desitin Baby Rash Cream. Yeah, I did that. Try creating work for brands where you're not the target market. This will push you to think differently. All right, third, only keep your best stuff. One of the biggest mistakes creatives make, and I made this mistake all the time, is just jam packing your book with everything that you do. You have to keep it simple. A CD or AD is only gonna review your book from one to five minutes tops. If they choose any random two campaigns in your book, are you going to be happy with the two that they choose? If your answer is no, then narrow that shit down. And a lot of people get discouraged because they're like, there's not a lot here. There's not a lot to look at. I'd rather see three solid campaigns than look through a laundry list of okay campaigns hoping that I find the one you want me to look at. Also keep in mind that your book will forever be a work in progress. So get used to taking things in and out of it. All right, this is the last tip, but by far the most important. So turn that volume up get ripped apart. I sent my book out to over 150 creative directors and art directors, not to get a job, not to get notice, but to have them rip apart my book and punch it in the face. It will probably push one of your campaigns to be even better. It also helps you build a tough skin. It won't be the first time that one of your ideas gets killed, but at the same time, stick to your guns. If you love it, keep it. If you think your portfolio best represents you as a creative, then that's more than you can ask for. And yeah, that's what I have for you today. So if you want your book critique, send me a message at opendoorcreative.com. And as always, subscribe below if you haven't already. Click that like button if you feel so inclined to do so. And I'll see you next time.